Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to buy Bitcoin, where to buy your Bitcoin from. For people who are just starting with Bitcoin, this is probably quite difficult. And uh, I remember when I first started, it was also a little bit difficult to find the right service. And um, I will be looking at the most popular ones. There will be many wallets, you know, that you can use for Bitcoin, but not all of them will be giving you the option to buy your Bitcoin. Some of them will only allow you to send or receive. So this is why we're going to look at a few different websites where you can buy Bitcoin. And uh, I'm going to put a lot of these in the description below. There will be links to all of these websites. And also I will be adding more with time. So if you have a suggestion, by the way, that would be cool to just leave a comment below. And uh, let's get straight into it. When you first start using Bitcoin, it's probably quite difficult for you to even understand it and, and, and you know, get a grasp of uh, how you're going to be using it and how to work with it. I remember I was like that as well. And um, probably the easiest service of all of them is Coinbase. So this is the first one that I'm going to be talking about. But bear in mind that it would really depend on, on your region, your country, your area, because a lot of these services that I'm going to be discussing right now are restricted to where they operate. For instance, Coinbase, it's an American company based in San Francisco. And uh, recently there was a legislation that was passed in New York and it couldn't operate in New York all of a sudden, even though it's an American company. So things like that happen and uh, a lot of these services are restricted by areas. So you have to do your own research as well. Uh, and let me just list here the main ones. And if none of this is working for you, you just have to do more research. I'm, I'm going to also mention which ones are popular in different countries. So hopefully that will help in your research. But Coinbase is generally the, you know, the wallet for newbies, the wallet for someone who is just starting in Bitcoin. And it's actually very good for that because not only is really user friendly and easy to navigate and everything, you can buy your Bitcoin with a credit card or bank transfer. If we go here on the page, you will see. So I have my bank account here so I can transfer money into Coinbase. And once the money is received, I will be buying my Bitcoin with it. But uh, what I'm actually using the most is my credit card because that way I can just go straight to buy. I can select the amount I'm paying and it's immediate. And I'm getting the Bitcoin immediately. I'm paying extra 3% fee for the, you know, the fact that I'm using a credit card. But there will be a fee that uh, you'll be paying with each of these services so you know about fees you can't avoid it what you can do is maybe just do a bit of research and see where you're going to be paying less but in my case i'm going for what's the easiest for me and you know for me it's it's really worked very well with coinbase also coinbase is very good for newbies because what they do is on your first 100 dollars worth of bitcoin they give you a 10 dollar bonus so and it's in bitcoin so what they do is, I'm going to show you here my, this is my first transaction, uh, the first time I received it basically. If, if you register with my link or if you give your link to someone else uh, and they register and they purchase Bitcoin for $100, Coinbase gives them and you $10 bonus. So this is when I've received my first one. And I know that it's from Coinbase because it's got the logo here. Everything else that I've received is just a regular transaction. So this is what Coinbase sent to me as a gratitude. And uh, these $10, by the way, because that was back in June, let me find out uh, how much is it costing right now. This is the current price. So today, this is 1826 The $10 that I received from Coinbase uh, a few months ago, is worth now 18.26. So this is the good thing about it. If you're just starting with Bitcoin, Coinbase is probably the first place you should look for, even if it's just for that $10 bonus, and then you can switch to another provider, you know, another wallet. The second most popular one is Xapo. And uh, here you can buy your Bitcoin with a bank transfer, or you can use an online payment processor like OKPay OK or NetTeller. NetTeller is quite a popular processor. Many people are using it and uh, I'm seeing a lot of other wallets also offering the purchase with through NetTeller. So this is with Zappo. You can also go to this website, which I 
haven't used it personally, but I just found it in my research and it looks really good. Um, it's called Bit Panda. And uh, what they do is they accept a few different payments. Yeah. You're not really spoiled for choice, but you can use a MasterCard or Visa. You can use NetTeller. You can also use a SEPA, which is a bank transfer in Europe and Skrill. You can see it here, all of these different payments. So this is a good website to have a look if you can use it in your region. I, you know, I don't know if it's going to be everywhere worldwide. This is another really cool website where you can buy Bitcoin and it's a Brazilian website. Uh, they, uh, they're they actually offering an option to pay with PayPal, which is remarkable. Um, I mean, it's probably a little bit more expensive when you think about it, if you compare the fees. But uh, it's uh, quite convenient nevertheless. So for many people, that might be a very good option. You can also use the bank transfer and you can use Payer, Perfect Money, OK Pay, all of these payment processors. If you're not familiar with this, um, you should probably look into Payer because quite frankly, you can even just purchase, this is Payer, you can actually purchase your Bitcoins trading here. All you have to do is go to Exchange and uh, because you have different wallets, Right now I have um, a USD wallet and I have a Euro wallet so I can choose whether to buy Bitcoin with Euros or with USD and if I was in Russia I could also pay with Rubla. So and this is a good one you go to currency exchange and here you basically choose what you want to be purchasing. If you want to pay with USD and purchase Bitcoin you will have a few different offers. So here you basically have listed quite a few members, members of the website, not just random people, who are um, selling their Bitcoin for these prices. You know, the different amounts for, you know, whatever the price is. They do have a cap on the price, so you can't really go crazy. You can't really ask for a price that is 10 times more than the, the official price. So um, in that regard, uh, again, you will be paying probably slightly more than somewhere else, but it might be more convenient. Therefore, it will be worth doing that. Um, another one is blockchain. Now, blockchain uh, doesn't offer that feature everywhere. It actually only, I think, only in Europe for the moment. It offers the feature to buy Bitcoin and they are using a third party for that um, for that transaction and it's not great because quite frankly my I tried twice my two transactions were declined so even though I, I've been able to purchase with the same cards in Coinbase in blockchain somehow it just didn't work it could be because I was abroad so that could be uh, a reason why I wasn't allowed to, to purchase it but in any case it didn't work for me so I don't really have any other feedback I can't guarantee that it's a smooth and easy transaction as it is in Coinbase a very very popular website for many different countries is local bitcoins here again you are buying from a, another person and again that person is um, a member of the website Okay, um, the next one. This is a very popular one in Asia and especially Singapore, I'm being told. It's called CoinHako. And uh, again, you can buy and sell Bitcoin here and uh, the price is supposed to be also quite attractive. So that's another one to check if, especially if you're located in Asia. And then for Indonesian people, I have this one. It's called bitcoin.co.id and it's uh, the, the one that is the most used in Indonesia so do check it out I don't really have uh, a, a recommendation for every country but these were the ones that were mostly most of the people were asking me about uh, the one for India by the way I failed to mention M most of the people in India are using local bitcoins I, I, that's from my understanding this is the one that gives the best rates as well so this is what I can recommend and uh, if none of this is working for you guys, then what you will have to do is just do your own research and uh, just type how to buy Bitcoin in Google or Bing, whichever search engine you're using. I'm pretty sure that from the cookies in on different websites, you will be, you know, the, the search results that you will be getting will be uh, for your local area. So that will be probably the most precise way to find the right service for you. 
these were just the main ones that the ones that are more famous the ones that are more popular and uh, hopefully one of them will be working for you hopefully this video will help and uh, I would appreciate your comments and suggestions in in the comments below if you know a good service in your local area do pop it in the comment below so that it can help other people who are looking at this video and searching for easy ways to buy their Bitcoin thank you for watching and I hope to hear from you Hey, thank you for staying until the end. If you like the video, click on the subscribe button and I'm gonna see you in my next video.